Hello everybody, Bill Batson here with... Eden Batson. <laughs> Today for our Friday Live Blank Talk. Blank Talk. Yeah, excited. Very exciting. You know, it is an extra special one today because this guy is getting older. Every day, <laughs> right? Another year around the sun. Another year around the sun. Big 5-4 today. Yeah. Yep. If I would have made, made, collected on all those bets and said I wouldn't make it to 21, I wouldn't be having to work right now. <laughs> Because so many people bet against me making it to 21, they would have never thought 54 was possible. Oh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I mean, if you wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't be here. That's right. Pretty much so. <laughs> so. Well, we decided to talk about travel blanks today. Yep. Because he is always traveling for his birthday. He's always going some destination to go fishing. It's actually very special that he's here for his birthday right now instead of fishing. <laughs> yeah, your mother said the same thing to me. She, she didn't have, didn't know what, how, to, how to plan because I've never been home for my birthday. I know. I made the reservations for dinner tonight. <laughs> nice. I know. Big Thank girl you. over here. Yeah. Um, and I get ready to travel. Yeah. So it's a two, two in one thing today. Yeah. Um, we start our shows. Yes, we finally have a show coming up. We're going to the Houston Fishing Show. Yes. That is very exciting. He's going to be there with my brother Keller in April. Yep. And um, Gary Land. And Gary Land. Yep. Da -da -da. And Adam J will be there. And Sean O'Connell will be there. Sean O'Connell, the two-time world redfish champion. And yeah. a lot of people know Adam J, the rapper. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows not, Adam J. Not the rapper, yep. but the rapper. Yeah, the fisherman. The fisherman rapper. So we're, we're going to be there. The freestyle, freestyle fisherman. fisherman. That's what it is. Freestyle fisherman. Sorry about that, Adam. And the dates on that, Eden? The dates on that, you are going to be there from April 14th through April 18th. It's going to be the George R. Brown Convention Center. So yep. if you are near that area and you want to go check out the booth and meet Bill and Keller and all those big names, yeah. they're going to be there. Give them a little bit more information about that. Sure. Um, booth 225 to 227. It's, an, it's not a real big booth. It's more of a modest booth. Um, it'll be a 20 foot by 10 foot. We'll be there to promote the rod building lifestyle. Yeah. We're going to be sharing some of our products that are popular in that area. We will have some distributors there. I know Fishing Tackle Unlimited has a huge booth there, like a 100 by 100 foot booth. Whew. And they're a good distributor yeah. for us in Texas. I know that Lance from Swampland will be there also with a booth. Nice. Lance is a good friend of ours, been a partner of ours for a long time, friend and partner of the Batson family. And a lot of manufacturers there that use our products will also be there. So perfect. we don't sell at the show. We're just there to promote. We're a wholesaler, as everybody knows. Mm -hmm. But getting back to doing the shows, I'm yeah. excited. I'll be on the road for actually 21 days. Yes. So we are going to have a couple weeks where we're going to bring on some guests. Yes. You know, since he's not going to be here, um, I will be here and the show must go on. <laughs> so we are going to be bringing in some of our pro staff to talk to you about some of our blanks. Yep. And it's going to be very exciting. We'll miss you dearly. Yeah. But he's yep. going to be have fun. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll be on the road for 21 days. I think I'm going to miss four Fridays or something like that. I get to go hang out with my clients all the way from Corpus Christi all the way to Alabama. Yeah. I'm going to be seeing a lot of different... Um, people, so we're having travel again, and I am happy about traveling. It's been a year since I've been able to travel. The last travel I went to was the Fred Hall show oh, in that Long was last Beach. Year. That was last March. So it's been a year since I've actually traveled for business. I have traveled for other things, <laughs> obviously, but not for business. Yeah. So it's going to be fun. Very exciting. Lots yep. of fun stuff yep. coming up in the works. Yep. Um, another fun thing that we're going to be doing is we are continuing our builder feature um, yes. series that we have on YouTube. So we're going through a lot of the big name builders, showing off some of the rods that my dad actually has in his collection. Yes. And we have had a lot of requests for Bill to do one on himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a builder. I've been building for a long time. I will show some of my work, maybe some of my father's work at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe some of my son's work. So maybe we'll just do a Batson family Batson build. Family. But I think the next one I want to do is Italo. Italo, Uncle Italo. We're going to do Uncle Italo next. We have at least five Italos, if not six, in the collection. And I will go ahead and collect those, break them down, give Italo a shout. He's a great rod builder, good friend of the family. We've mm -hmm. known him for a long time. 
So he'll be the next one if it's not me and my family. And Carrie as well. Oh yeah, Carrie. He's a Carrie Batson. tremendous builder. Yeah. Carrie's, yeah, definitely. So. So that is going to be up on YouTube. We have some past episodes if you want to yep. check them out at Batson Enterprises on YouTube. Yeah. It's going to be really amazing. That series is awesome. Yes, it is. I want to make one quick note about that. Uh, two weeks ago, I did an episode on Brett Ikari, Sato Custom Rods. Mm -hmm. uh, we had four of the rods in his collection. Somebody contacted me and said they had another one that he built that he hand signed his logo on. If I wanted to purchase it because it was just sitting in, the, in a closet getting dust on it and he wanted it to be in a collection. So I purchased it from him and now we have another Sato in the collection. So now we have five Satos. So. Exciting. It was it was nice that somebody yeah. contacted me after they saw that. That's beautiful. Yeah, I it's love fun. That. Just keep on collecting. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not? People get to appreciate it. Yeah, I'll be taking some of those to Texas. Get to show off some get of the to collection. show off some of the collection of Texas, most definitely. Probably some of the Texas boys like Arturo, and stuff like that. Beautiful. So let's get on with this thing. Get on. Get keep on keeping on. Yep. So we're gonna okay. start today with a saltwater travel blank, a Ooh. three piece. Um, this blank was designed 15 years ago for white marlin fishing, actually, and some lighter um, inshore and offshore applications. And it's a three-piece, seven-footer. It comes in a medium, a medium-heavy, and a heavy. Ooh. So This is our all-around nice travel blank, yeah. Saltwater travel blank. It's, yeah. it has, it's very strong. It's, it's durable. Um, you want to go ahead and pull me out one of those? Yeah, we'll, we'll pull, out, pull out one of these and we're gonna we're gonna bend them also but I want to show what I mean this is a three-piece travel rod fits in a rod tube carried on the plane a lot of guys peacock bass fishing or just fishing anywhere yeah three pieces a good size we carry over 90 multi-piece blanks but we have probably if I'm gonna make as a I guess 12 models of three piece and this would be one of them. This one is actually a peacock bass rod. This is the 70H Gary Land built for me for my trip to Brazil. And you can see the acrylic handles. He did a beautiful job. Let me, um, let me bring that up okay. closer yeah. so they can see that beautiful. Perfect. Yeah, most definitely. Acrylic. Yeah, the right acrylic handle. So this one was done by Gary Land for, for the Batson collection. And for me to fish with him in Brazil at some point in time. It's gorgeous. Yes, it is gorgeous. Beautiful. Yep, yep. And I have a couple more that I want to highlight, but let's go ahead and pull on the first one, and then Beautiful. we'll talk about some, some of the other ones. Awesome. All right. And just to mention, while we're going to start pulling on this blanket, don't forget your goals. Yep. Um, we do have a giveaway that we are doing today. Oh, yeah. um, we're going to be doing that closer to the Q&A, uh, but we did read all of your amazing comments on yes. our event about your destinations and who you would bring with you. Um, a couple of them are about us going tuna fishing with us and yeah. hanging out with us, which is really That's nice cool. and nice. going yeah. to Brazil and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Traveling. I mean, traving and fishing, what more can you ask for? You I mean, stay in right? nice places, eat good food and go fishing. <laughs> All right. Let's pull on some blanks. Okay. We're going to bore everybody. Oh, my safe word for this week. Peacock. Oh, peacock. All right. <laughs> so we're going with the peacock. So like I said, this is a three piece blank. This is the SWT series. Ooh, what weight is this? This is the medium. This is the medium. Uh-huh. This is the medium. And this one is rated 10 to 17, okay. one quarter to three quarter ounce. It's got plenty of backbone. You can do a yeah. lot with this rod, um, redfish, all kind of stuff like that. So Okay, let's hook it on there. Yeah. So what is this blank made out of? This is an RX-6 graphite. Oh, let me make sure that this is all... Zero it out for you. And you e-glass. So it ha does have some e-glass in it. Oh, nice. So you can see it's pretty quick. You see it's pretty quick, but at the same time, it's forgiving. Yeah. And it bends through the ferrule. Look at that. Yeah. It bends through the ferrule. Nice, clean yeah. bend, but you know, it's, it's pretty quick. Yeah. But as you pull into it, it's got plenty of power and it shuts off. Uh -huh. The back end barely bends at all. So you can really pull on this thing. Wow. And this is the medium. And it's got a lot of weight to mm -hmm. it. So... And I just pulled eight pounds of pressure on that. It's not a lot, yeah. but it's plenty for a blank like that rated 10 to 17. Yeah. And this is saltwater ratings. So it's a little different than freshwater mm -hmm. ratings. Um, but yeah, so this is the SWT 70 M-3. Gorgeous. So it's a beautiful rod. I built this one 
People were asking for something that I built as a spinning First rod. This one? Yeah. I built this one as a spinning rod. Just lure, lighter lures. Um, I had the blank painted a dark blue. Um, if you want to get up close and so I can show off some of this. A Bill Batson build. This is a Bill Batson build. A BBB. Yeah. <laughs> and it is a double wrap. One under. One over. And if you want to see, you know, my my basic color schemes, everything is even, everything is flat like I like it. Um, one under, one over with the double, double inlays, double, triple inlays on every guide. What's special about this rod is after I built it, Matt Koch said he wanted to paint on it. So Matt Koch, go ahead and get in close here, Matt Koch, the fish head art guy, painted that peacock bass on my rod. And this was back in 2010. That's a hand painted, not sticker, Matt Koch. What's cool about it, every section he did something different. So he put a plug on the second section and that is also a painting. And on the tip section, he put a swivel. That's pretty cool. And I have two rods that he did that for me. And that's a Matt Koch with Bill Batson wrap. One of a kind. Yes, and I built the, the medium one as a spinning rod. Yeah. So that's the medium. Beautiful. You saw how it bent. Yeah. Yep. Do we want to pull on the medium heavy? Yeah, let's pull on the medium heavy. You can tell there's a little more power. We're going to reset that. So I pulled eight pounds on that. So the medium heavy, we're going to get a little bit more power. You'll see off of it. You got to torque it. Don't don't pull out your shoulder though. No. You're going fishing tomorrow. I know. You I'm going fishing yourself. tomorrow. I am. And make sure my ferrules are always. Whenever you have multi-piece rods, make sure that you always check your ferrules. I mean, in a in a check your ferrule. You put it together and you spin it, right? To lock it in. So always check your ferrules. Beautiful. So, you know that wearing your glasses above your eyes doesn't actually protect your eyes. I know that. But it would, it would protect my forehead, <laughs> though, wouldn't it? It would protect your forehead. Right. You've got to protect the big brain in there. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> All right. You got to reset? I got to reset. Okay. So you can see this is the same series, the SWT series in a three piece. And this is the medium heavy. And you can see it, it's still pretty quick. Yeah. Right? It's, it's got good action. And you can see the tip on there. And as you pull, you can see it pull through the second ferrule. And as I pull on it, you can see where it shuts off mm -hmm. pretty much in the back end. And I can pull this. And this one's got a lot more power. I'm going to two-hand this one. And Ooh. I'm going to get... 12 pounds of pressure off of it. Wow. It's amazing to me. Like there's like barely any flat spot in that ferrule. Yeah, that's that's, that's a good design right there. Yeah. You see how it bends Gorgeous. through, bends through the ferrule. Uh -huh. Old school, they used to be really bulky, and there would be a flat spot, mm -hmm. and it would it would cause a shear point, yeah. and that's where you would have a lot of multi-piece rods break. Break. That's why a lot of the old timers they didn't want multi-piece mm -hmm. because they said it's not as strong and all those types of things. But nowadays. We have a pretty good transition. Yeah. And the back end, there's you're really not bending much back here. No. My power shuts off about here on this rod. Mm -hmm. So, and that is the medium heavy. Medium heavy. Yep. Beautiful. So, yep. So, and I had another one, Matt Koch built for me in the medium heavy. And it's also another blue theme, blue blank. And I had this one built as a casting oh, rod. One second. She got stuck. Yeah, that's why I left the reel on, because the reel kind of matches. It was kind of a cool deal. So Matt Koch did the same thing for this one. You can see the peacock bass, the plug, and that. And this one has a trigger seat built as a casting rod with Alps black and blue guides. If you can see the black and blue guides, mm -hmm. that is now a stocking item. Back in 2010, it was not, but now it is. So you can see maybe the black and blue guides. I don't know. They're pretty. They are pretty. Yeah. And the matching reel. It's a saltwater a size 200, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. This is a Coastal by Daiwa, 7 to 3. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's a reel I would use. So those are the three rods that I would take to Brazil or any kind of saltwater application. I will pull on the heavy one because I got eight off of the first one. I got 12 off of the second one. And if, if we start to pull on it, you should be able to get more as you go up higher in power. Oh, I expect you to pull more. We got a question over here. Yes. It's more of a comment. Uh, oh. Peter Balderas. Yes. Customer said he got a giant order the other day. It was very well packaged and organized. Oh, thank oh. you, Peter. Yeah, our, our 
shipping department does a great job. Mm -hmm. Sometimes too good. <laughs> <laughs> but they do yeah. a great job putting stuff together. Um, I think we got a cast in, Eden. Oh, oh, I got it. I got Holly's it. Work, Holly's been working on her oh, cast oh, in. Hey, <laughs> nice cast there today, Holly. All right, we so we're going to give something really away in. here. Okay, we're giving something away. We've got the Team Rain Shadow Gator. Oh, yeah, I got one right here in my pocket. Oh, there we go. We can see one. Yep, there, there it go. is. It's got team the Rain Team Shadow. Rain Shadow on there, whoop, which whoop. you guys are all a part of since you're watching this video. Yes. Team Rain Shadow. Um, and the person who won this today is Steve Haywood. Hey, Steve, congratulations. Yeah, send us a message on Facebook. Um, if you just click our name on the video that you're watching right now, you can send us a direct message and be like, hey, I went on Blink Talk today. Yep. And I, personally, will send this to you. Excellent. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve, for participating. We like to give stuff away if you haven't you. noticed. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the heavy one. Yeah. SWT 78. Okay, this is for your bigger peacock bass. This is for your bigger pelagics. This is for a lot of different things. This is an awesome Blink. I personally have never seen one blow up. I'm sure it happens. I think Keller. Oh, you can't use that sentence on here or else we'll try to blow it up. I know. I know. <laughs> We're not going to blow anything up though. But Keller, my son, built um, a half a dozen for a group that was going to Brazil. Yeah. And the lady broke the butt section. So that, it's a little funny. How, she, how do you break a butt section on a ride like that? But anyways, no, no big deal. We replaced <laughs> the butt section. Everybody was happy. No problem. So let's pull on the heavy one. Okay, let's see it. All right. Let's see how it moves. All right, go ahead and reset that. Okay. And you can see as you get into heavier, you get lar you get larger diameters, yeah. you get thicker walls. Um, so this one is rated 12 to 25. I fish 65 on mine. Don't tell anybody, but I know how to set my drag correctly. You can fish anything. And this is rated one half to two ounce. I could I could I could power cast two ounces with this. So let's go ahead and Ooh, pull. Don't let's get go ahead and check the ferrule. Check your ferrules. Check Remember, your ferrules. always check your ferrules. Two-piece rods, check your ferrules. Very important. So go ahead and reset. Is that reset? It is reset. Okay, and you're going to be able to see these are still quick action rods. You yeah. see the nice tip. It's great for throwing those big plugs and stuff that they use, wood choppers and things like that. Wood choppers. Wood choppers. <laughs> and those big lures for those big peacocks yeah. or whatever you're fishing for. So you can see how fast it is. And we're going to go ahead... And we're going to use two hands on this. We're going to pull. You can see Woo! the power. You can see the power through that yeah. thing. And this, I mean, this is, it's good. It's, it's got a nice lot of big, oh, it's a good one. <laughs> Fish on. Yep. Okay, how much did you pull there? We only got 14. So 14, 12, 14. As you move up in the weights, you're going to pull more. Yeah. Um, I probably could have pulled more than that, but we don't want to blow anything up. <laughs> Are you sure? Maybe later. I like blowing stuff I know you up. do. All right, we got another cast in. Holly's she's oh, hot on the cast we're today. Hot on the castings. Okay. All this right. Is all, this is As you see, I'm backing up. <laughs> okay. This wait, is I'm Holly casting in. Come on, Holly. Give it to me. She's been practicing. Oh! 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 We broke oh! You water. broke off. <laughs> Lost it. <laughs> I think it was when I kicked it. <laughs> we broke off. Okay. So. Wait. Let me. Are you want? Do you want this? I just, it's okay. Wait, wait. I'm just gonna. I knew I should have stayed out of the picture. Eden, you want to go ahead and tell what that is? Those are a nice pair of pliers, actually. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pronounce this correctly. I can do it. Larry Robles. Larry Robles. These are the professional angler pliers. Team yep. Rain Shadow. They come with a little sheath. Yep. Um, these are nice. They're we very like nice. We yep. like these a lot. They've got braid cutters. They've got split ring pliers. Um, comes with a sheath with a lanyard, so you can always have it. You lay it down. It doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. A lanyard. These are really nice um, on Team Rain Shadow. Woohoo! Yep. Um, and if you like these and you want to try them out, they are on our retail website, which is build the number two fish.com it's build to fish.com um and we sell these there they're re very reasonably priced we, they are. <laughs> i think they're like 14.99 or something maybe something like that these are these yeah. pliers are well worth it i know my cousin beats up a lot of things and so do i and we've had these for years and not had any issues with them yeah. so for 14.99 i buy a half a dozen and leave them around yeah. the boat that's what i would do so go we ahead and sell you something we don't trust no one thing you know about the Batsons, if we're selling, it's because we're using it. Yeah. And it's probably the best for the price point. 
Anyways. Beautiful. Larry Robles, R-O-B-L-E-S. Send us a message on Facebook and claim your prize. Yep. Perfect. I so that's it. our SWT. Saltwater travel. That's what the SWT stands for. SWT. Are we going to... Was that the heavy that we just did? Yes, that was the heavy. So we had 8, 12, and 14. 8, 12, and 14. Pounds and then, of pressure. Oh, <coughs> I'm dying. <laughs> no dying on me. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> um, I, can't I believe that. <laughs> I, I don't know so sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's move on. No, I think that before we move on, <laughs> we should go over the build sheet. Okay. Let's go we over have a build, build sheet. sheet yep. for this over here. So we have our new guide spacing build sheets that our team worked very hard on. They are beautiful. The graphics are amazing. And it goes over everything that you need to build a basic one of these rods. Yep. So this is the SWT70. H-3M. This is a very basic build. This is a um, price point sensitive build where it has EVA with an EVA butt cap with an old school forecast trigger reel seat, EVA foregrip, black Alps guides. Very simple build, but these sheets are awesome. It tells you the materials. As you can see the materials, it tells you numbers, what, the, what all the numbers is, where the guides go. We have these for all of our builds. There's over 500 and we're always working on more. So if you have any questions, you can go to guidespacing.com and um, get these anytime. Um, I personally answer, <laughs> personally answer um, at least 15 to 20 of them a day and I hand off a lot. So if I don't answer you personally, it's because I'm so busy, but anyways. Yeah. And there is a Facebook group called Guide Spacing, yep. uh, which is a group of over 3,000 rod builders. And these are pinned to the top of the page. So if you join that group, we'll accept you into it. And then um, you get to talk with a bunch of rod builders yep. and kind of yep. collaborate together. And these are also available to you on that Facebook group. So yep. if you to look that up on Facebook, you can find that. Really wonderful Yes. tool. It is a great tool. It is a great tool. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Jeff, any questions out there? Anybody have anything to say to us? We want questions. No. We, need, we need things to talk about. All right. <laughs> That's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll keep talking because we know how to talk. We do. That is one thing us bathrooms know how to do really well. We, That's talk and entertain. <laughs> yes, we can talk and entertain. All right. Um, and that's what it's about. And we're here to educate people. Educate. Can, I, can you actually show me where um, those blanks are in our catalog? Yes. The SWT travel are in our travel series and that would be under rx6 i'm gonna put them on the spot folks that's fine i can find them i know i can i believe in they you. are on page 63 63 63 yep and it's rx6 graphite and e-glass blend the e-glass gives it that durability mm -hmm. the rx keeps the stiffness so if i was going to make an educated guess educated? i am I'm um, educated guess on it. The glass would be towards the tip. Yeah. And as you move back, you get the stiffness with the graphite like mm -hmm. we do for one piece rod. Yeah. Per basically the same thing. So it is a blend yeah. of glass and graphite. Beautiful. So, yep. Best so, of both worlds. Yep. Page 63 with the new um, Batson Master Catalog. This Master Catalog, which you can order on our website. They are free. We'll ship one to you so you can see our full stock of all of our products yep. um, if you go to batsonenterprises.com we have a little button that says catalog you just press it right there and you can order one put in your information it sends it directly to us and we'll send you one in the mail we send out lots of catalogs we do. Oh, it's crazy They're we'll beautiful. probably send out 10,000 catalogs this in uh, life of this catalog yeah. if not more there is like 20 boxes of catalogs just <laughs> surrounding my desk at all times eden is the catalog queen that's what i am <laughs> i don't the i don't think the fedex people like me because i'm shipping out hundreds of them a day <laughs> they have to scan every everybody's one making one. money everybody's seeing <laughs> stuff right yeah yeah okay. makes the world go round. next next i think we're going to do the sb yes 843 perfect so it's the B as in Bravo, not the SP, right. which is a separate series yes. that we will... Yep, we'll look touch at. on that later. We'll touch on that so later. So this series is a spin bass series, right? Mm -hmm. And these are all the three-piece series. Like I said, I showed earlier, this is in a clear gloss. You can see, three-piece, right? Beautiful. Make sure when you ferrule them, I'll say it again and I'll say it again. Make sure when you ferrule any multi-piece rod, lock it in. Twist it. Twist it in. So these are... An RX6 graphite. Yep. Nice and light. 
Let's see. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> is that that light? What is that coming in at? I don't even know. Two point like, two. Two point like two ounces. Finger curls with it. <laughs> two point two ounces for that blank. Very light. Um, easy to travel with. I travel with three of them, and mine are built very simple. Mm -hmm. I have a couple built as spinning rods. The lighter ones, the one powers, are built as spinning rods. Yep. Oh, okay. The one is hanging here. That's the one I travel with these. I have a little spinning reel. Yeah. I have one built as a casting rod also. So throw my casting rod on there. Beautiful. And so this is the SB843-3. If you're going to have one multi-purpose, and this is not your offshore, this is not your saltwater rod, this is your bass rod, spin bass rod, mm -hmm. right? So, and it, you can build it as a casting rod if you want, but it's, just, it's in the spin bass series, SB843 on page 59. 59, and this also comes in a one piece, and the yes. actions are gonna be, and the powers is gonna be very similar. Yes, very be much so. Pretty much the same. Yeah, and you're not gonna see too many flat spots, no. you know? Yeah. And you're not gonna feel anything in the back end, right? Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so we have this model in a spin bass also. Yes. Like Eden said. This one is rated 10 to 17. If you're going to have one, this is what I would use. Um, many different applications. From and we have a question, I believe. Oh, yeah. Jeff, you got a question? Oh, uh, yeah, from Lori. Yeah. Yes. Um, Lori. So what's, what's the heaviest, flat out heaviest travel rod you got? Heaviest travel rod we H, got? Uh, the tuna popper. The tuna popper, which we will be bringing out. We will show you on that one later. Yes. Um, yes, we have people like it for traveling. I mean, obviously, yeah. the eight footer breaks down. Pretty small. It's a it's a seventy thirty split, and then we have the ten footer that breaks down seventy thirty split. So we'll you can travel with that. it. We're gonna go over that because my son built a couple of them. I want to show. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the power on this, and you're gonna yeah. see this is a fast action rod. Mm -hmm. So you can't make a lot of mistakes with it. You can't be boat flipping stuff in. You can, but you gotta know what you're doing, <laughs> right? But anyways, so it's spin bass. So let's put our glasses on, and we'll show the action of this one. I'm ready. You got a question, Jeff, before we start? Yeah, Arthur Long. Yes. Uh, Arthur wants to Long. Know what our opinion is on guide spacing as far as keeping the line off the blank. Have you ever seen a situation where line touching the blank caused any type of failure or anything like that? Um, Let's yeah. repeat that question in case someone didn't hear it. Okay. Yeah. So he's asking me about line touching the blank. That's why you deflect the blank so you can put your guides where they need to be so it doesn't touch the blank. You don't want any kind of friction. By the line touching your blank, there's friction on your line. And any kind of friction, it will affect casting, it will affect fighting, and it can affect your line. Mm -hmm. So have I seen failure because of it? Direct failure, it's hard to say, but I would say yes. You know, that's why we as custom rod builders add an extra guide or have our deflections or we, we supply prints to show you at a full flex that this particular model there will be no line on the blank but yes i could see failure because of it beautiful yep let's pull on this one perfect i hope that answers your question arturo arthur? arturo Ar oh, i think it's it? arthur or arturo oh, arthur, long. Arthur, arthur long oh good hey good to see you out there i'll see you in texas <laughs> beautiful okay let me reset this okay now don't hit me in the face when you all right it up. put your glasses on i'm trying all right because these are quick real quick See how quick that is? Holly, can you see that? Can I want to make sure we might want to put this on something so we can get up higher. But as you can see, this is a quick action blank. Spin bass are usually a quicker action blanks, right? Mm -hmm. So this particular one is quick. It, it will throw some nicer lures, but look how fast it is. All right, wow. everybody see how fast it is. And then as I pull on it, the power pulls back through the ferrule, as you can see. And this blank doesn't have a lot to give because mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a three power, 8 to 17, so I'm going to pull on it. And it's all graphite, so we're going to do a one arm here. And we're going to probably stop at about five pounds of pressure, which is a lot yeah. for a little blank like this, right? Any sustained weight or anything, yeah. that's five pounds. four and a half. Four and a half. Yep, four and a half pounds. So um, very light in the hand. Yeah. You can build these. I build them with the light. Um, I would use carbon nowadays. This rod was, I built this rod probably 20 years ago when I first started traveling. And this rod has gone a lot of different places with me. But build it light. It's crisp. It's a great action blank. Three piece. Remember what I said. I'll say it again. When you put your ferrules together on any multi piece, make sure you get them locked down. 
and side it up correctly. Yep. Okay. So that's our 843. You keep trying to hand them to me. I know. <laughs> I'm thinking you were going to do something with it, but you're I'm not. You're going to do something with it? No. Nope. You want to go fishing? Yeah. Actually, I'm already fishing. Right now? Yeah, actually in my mind I am fishing because, you know, <laughs> it's my birthday and I should be fishing, but I'm here today. But because he wanted to be with his daughter who he loves so much. Yeah, we're going to go have dinner with mom and brother and everybody tonight. But I will be fishing tomorrow, Ling Cod opener tomorrow up here in Washington, Ooh. out on the coast. So I'll be taking my son and another friend of mine, Eddie Leibel, from Blacksmith Custom Rods. Beautiful. Yep. We'll be fishing tomorrow. He's actually just standing right over here. I know. He's somewhere. He's sneaking around here somewhere. He's sneaking around. Yep. All Beautiful. Right. Okay. What are we showing off? So let's talk about the RTPs now. Woohoo! The tuna popper. All right. I want to show a new one. You've seen the other one my son built. So this is a. Oh. This is also a travel rod. We call uh, this a travel rod. And this one is built as a spinning rod. It's a big boy. Yeah, it's a big boy. This is a eight foot medium heavy. You could catch 100 pound fish on this, no problem. This one is rated 30 to 60, three ounce to six ounce. But what's cool about it is Woo. it's a travel rod, right? There's no bend in the back end of this rod. So this is, no, this, this is nothing. Basically, you're getting all your action here, yeah. right? And this has a reverse, reverse ferro. ferro. So yep. the tip goes in the butt. Instead of the butt into the tip, Instead right? Instead of the butt into the tip. Yep, right. So, and the if you look at the blank before it's built, it's tapered opposite. Oh, yeah. It has an opposite taper, right? We'll so, look at that when we look at the yeah. blank. It's very interesting. It is interesting and highly design. highly effective. Very much so. Um, I personally have fished these rods. I know what they're capable of. Yeah. I've, I mean, I believe in the tuna poppers. Yeah. For any big game, big lure stuff. Yeah. So this is our 80 MH. Yeah. And I was talking to Jeff earlier, and he said that these <laughs> are really hard to get out if they get stuck. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's a... So he was recommending putting some paraffin wax down there or something. Well, ear wax. A little stick your ear, ear wax, in there. You know. Put it on there. I know a lot of people just stick ear wax on there. Gross. <laughs> if you have any extra ear wax laying around. You shouldn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not everyone is Shrek, um, but yeah, just to make sure that doesn't get stuck, because if it does, you're going to have a hard time getting that out. Right. Oh, oh, wait, we got a casting, <laughs> gotta, and I have a rod in my hand. This, oh, is, not, not this is not a casting. This is we more of a, this deep, a uh, straight deep drop. A straight drink drop. Straight deep drop. Oh, oh yeah. okay, so we have our, can you take this from me? Yes. Thank you. So we have our professional braid scissors here. Oh, those are awesome. These are awesome. They got the team rain shadow on them. On them. You also got the sheath and the lanyard. Yep. Um, these are another one of those um, things that are on buildtofish.com. Yep. We love them and we're giving one away. I want to say they're like $4.99 or something. Just something silly. You know why? Because we buy in bulk. If you ever noticed, Batson buys in bulk. Yeah. And we get the best prices so we can pass on the best prices. Yeah, there we go. And also so we can give them away so you guys <laughs> yeah, get cool stuff So it too. doesn't feel so bad every time I give a $5 bill away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this giveaway is going to be going to Caleb Roberts. Excellent. Caleb Roberts. Caleb Roberts. I'm guessing you're watching this right now because we're giving you something. So um, send us a message on Facebook at Bats and Enterprises. Yep. Give us your information, we'll ship this to you. Yep, Caleb Roberts. Yes, we love you. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. All right, we have a question. Jeff, you got a question? Yeah, Henry wants to know a good two-piece yellowtail rod if we had one, because the boat charges him 100 bucks to run a rod. Oh. Yellowtail rod, yeah. I would probably go with um, SW967. Is a good eight foot. Let me write that down because yeah. then for our Q&A, we can pull on that a little bit. Yeah. So, SW967 in a two-piece. We make it in a two-piece. It's very popular in a one-piece. We have, actually have a 966, 967, 968, but we only carry the 967 in a two-piece. For a good saltwater travel rod that you can yeah. take on the boat, yellowtail, fun rod. Okay. You'll have a great time with that rod. Henry, I wrote that blank down. If you stay for the Q&A, we'll pull on that for you. That'd be perfect. Beautiful. You'll probably get somebody to go pull it for us and have it ready. Yeah. Bro, you want to grab me a SW967F, please? All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, okie dokie. Right. I think we should pull on the tuna popper. All right, let's pull it. Man, this thing's, oh. You got to, like, stretch a little bit before this I got to stretch. One. Yeah, this one's going to be a good one. There you go. Touch your oh. toes. All right. Make sure you got all the shoulder rotation. Yeah, yeah, show yeah, them, yeah. Show them that ferrule. 
oh. on the back end of that because this is really cool. Oh yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to see it, but if you, if you notice on the tuna poppers, this end, the butt end, is smaller than the tip end. It's like a reverse ferrule. I don't think they're going to be able to see it. They'll probably understand what I mean. Yeah. But the butt end is smaller than the other end. Thank you, Brian. So, um, and it comes in this cool, it has a cool pattern too. Look at that. It's kind of a, it's not just a gloss black. It Ooh, has a. Ooh, it's got like a little reflection Yeah, it in does. There. Yeah, it does. Okay, oh. we have another question from Jeff. Yeah. Uh, John John. Yes. John John. Said he just got his ADM mage built. He's going to Panama with it. Tell Ooh. Him how yeah. Video. Yeah. Going to Panama with John the John's. ADMH. Yep. The ADMH, the tuna popper. You're going to love it, John. Um, John from Two Johns, I believe that's who it is. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. He just got his. You're going to love it. You're going to enjoy it. Take some video for us so we can share. Yeah. All right. Let's see some videos of that in action. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. I got videos of Carrie and I fishing with it one time. But yeah, definitely, John, if you get a chance to take some videos or some pictures with that blank. Yeah. Very popular blank. Send it to us. Send it to us. We'll use it. Yeah. We we'll, totally will. Yeah. We'll send you a hat or something. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> just joking. We All would. Right. No. All right. <laughs> So we're gonna pull on the ADMH. We should okay. be able to get some power out of this. All right. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, let me Put get my glasses. Yeah. Are you breaking a sweat yet? I am almost breaking a sweat. Okay, there you go. You will be after this. I know. Okay. Okay, so this is the ADMH. This thing's got lots of power. Woo wee. It's a stiffy. Hey. It has to be stiff. Yeah, it has to be <laughs> stiff to be able to pop the big lures because it's made for as a popping rod, right? Yep. And so the lures are pretty big and they have a big cup on them and you have to be able to pop them, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a two-hander on this. I wanna make sure I'm all good. And it's a quick rod, got lots of power, right? Mm -hmm. You can see that, right? Okay, and as down. you pull, this thing's got beastie power. Oh, Whoa! Come on, fish on! Come on! Whoa! We're gonna stop there. <laughs> Just because it's not worth me blowing my back out trying Only to pull a fish. Pounds? Come on! <laughs> I guarantee I could pull. I could, uh, Harry, then you, you pull on it and I tell know. me how many years. That's right. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see you pull on it. Anybody else want to see Eden pull on this? Huh? Come on. All I need is one person. Tell me, yes, let's see Eden pull on it. All right. Oh, let's do it. We're going to have you pull on it. All right. I got 20 on there and I could have got more. Let's get a reset. How do I reset it? You know, Eden? I don't know if this is going to go very well. How do I reset it? I don't know if I want to tell you. Come on. Reset it. It's reset. All right. Okay. So we're going to let Eden pull on this, everybody. Hook me up. Back up. I'm a little scared. You should be. I feel be. like I should widen my... All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Pull. Ready? Pull. No, pull. What do you mean, no pull? Pull. Pull. With your strong arm, pull. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? No, it's not. Yeah. What did you get? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you what she pulled. I got, I got around like 14. 14 is good. She did. She got 14. Good for Eden. Good for Eden. <laughs> Any more than that, she's getting pulled over the side of the boat and she'll be fishing with, swimming with the fishes. So, fishing with the fishes. Yeah. So <laughs> anyways, so that's our RTP. I should have peacocked that ADMH. one. ADMH. <laughs> Safe word in it. So. So those are the tuna poppers. I yep. wanted to show the 10 footer too, just because. A lot of people. 10 footer. Yeah. So this is our 10 foot version. You lose oh. the back end? Yeah, but I want to measure the tip. So I'll show it here. That's just the tip section. So we're at seven, one, two, three. Four. Can you count? Yep. Okay. So we, we have a 10 foot version. And the tip is? Seven foot four. So this can go in a rod tube and go on an airplane. I know guys are talking about Cedros and places like that where they want to have a 10 footer, yeah. but they can't get a 10 footer on a plane. Mm -hmm. So they've been taking this RTP 70, 30 split. This is the RTP 100 MH, the rain shoulder tuna popper 100 MH. And this one is built deckhand style. It has a clamp on it. And this one is actually built spiral wrapped and darn it. The kids, the kids who built this, I bought it from them at, at the show. Really nice guy. Worked for Island Fishing Tackle. What is his name? 
Hey, there's anybody. No. Nope. <laughs> You're looking around. He's the not here. Now. Sorry, I feel bad. I will make it up to him, but he's a good builder, custom rod builder. Anyways, I bought this from him at the show. This was, he's, he's a young kid. This is the first rod he ever sold. And it was, it was an honor to buy it from him. It was in a rod competition, and I bought it from him. And this is my 10 foot tuna popper. 10 foot tuna popper. Medium heavy. You can throw iron with this. You can throw poppers with it. The, the length is more for the, for the younger guys. <laughs> um, I'm more of an eight foot guy. These longer rods, they have a lot more fulcrum to them and it's really hard fighting those bigger fish with a rod like this. But a lot of guys will use this off the beach for throwing tuna poppers. For throwing tuna poppers off the beach or I know guys like Dwayne Diego from Pinnacle or Jake Freeze or guys like that, they'll use it as their surface iron rod or their iron rod. They'll get up on the front of the boat and cast at those schools that are popping yeah. um, with a 10 foot rod. Because of the length, you can get a longer cast. So Nice. I wanted Beautiful. to bring that up. Gorgeous. Yep. Okay. All right. So, do we have a build for that? Um, yes, we do have a build for that. We have a build for that. Let's take a look uh -huh. at the build. All right. So the build for that particular one, nope, it's for the eight foot. Oh, it's for the eight yep, foot. Yep, the eight foot. So this one is built as a spinning rod. A lot of the eight foot medium heavies are built as a spinning rod, mm -hmm. where you'd start with a number 40 guide. You'd probably use a, I have an accurate size 20 spinning reel. I don't think they make them anymore, but I think in spinning reels, you'd be talking about a 10,000 size spinning reel. 7,500 to a 10,000 to a, a reel like that. Um, this one is a basic build. This is a price point sensitive build. This is a black on black with a slick butt. It has a rubber fighting gimbal. It has the Alps aluminum reel seat. It has EVA foregrip, Alps black XN guides. Basic build, you can upgrade from there. This is just a suggestion as a starting point. But all of our builds, like we talked about earlier, are on guidespacing.com. Guidespacing.com? Yeah. Guidespacing.com? Yeah. Route you to the group. yeah. Beautiful. Route you right to the group. So that is that one. Beautiful. So we have over 90 different multi-piece rods. Yeah. So a lot of guys are doing a lot of different things with a lot of different blanks. Lately, we've been getting more people that want an eight and a half foot two-piece for throwing crocodiles off the beach and catching pompano or catching, you know, skipjacks and things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, you can go to our surf line. It has some stuff, but a lot of guys are taking cross reference from other blanks. Yeah. So you could take a BP series, a bulletproof series, we call it the BP Billy proof. Back in the day, we used to call it Billy proof because I couldn't even break them. And he breaks a lot of stuff. And I do break a lot of things. Um, but the BP series, so they're taking blanks from the BP series, right? Yeah. Wait, do we have the BP series out right now? Yeah, the 1024, 1025. You can go ahead and I'll show a build real quick. Okay. So a build like this, where you're gonna have an eight and a half foot rod, you know, and saltwater style. I, I personally put the trigger reel seat on. This one has cork grips, like a musky cork grip, bigger fighting grips has a long rear grip, 15 inch rear grip. And this is like in a BP series, BP 1025s, BP 1024s, catch two piece. You catch some roosters off the beach. You can catch a lot of different things. Yeah. So that- A lot the, of applications? A lot of applications. So any multi-piece blank you oh. can have. Oh, hey, look at mom showed up. Oh, and we're pausing. The amazing hey. Bonnie Dawson, the president of our company, hey. and also Bill's mother. Happy Hello, everybody. birthday. Look at mom showed up. You can take your mask off, mom, so people can see you. We're all family. Hello, Gary. There you go. We're Hello. all family. Hey, happy hey. Look, my favorite. Carrot, Carrot cake. Carrot cake. Thank you, mom. You're welcome. Love you to pieces. Connie Batson. Everybody, Connie Batson. The one and only. Yeah. The, the matriarch. The matriarch of the family. Yep. The president of the company. Yep. Mom. Mom. Everybody knows there's mom and oh. grandma to Eden. Grandma to me. <laughs> so say happy birthday to Bill. Hey, hey. thank you, mom. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to blow out my candle and have a bite real quick here. Out of respect. 
Do I get a bite? Mmm. Yeah, I'm breaking my diet. My wife, I know she's watching. <laughs> so, it's okay, honey. We talked about this yesterday. Today, I can, I can cheat off my diet. So, I might even go to Bento's and eat lunch. Right? But I'll have one more bite. <laughs> Just one more bite because it's so good. Thank you, everybody, for watching. That was a quick pause. Are you talking with your mouth full? I am talking with my mouth full. <laughs> so. Just don't get it in the mic. Just Thank you, everybody. I get out of my mustache. Okay. It's great for my mom to show up today and bring me cake. It's always awesome. Mm hmm Yep. So you let's get back. That. You guys planned it. I figured you did because I opened up the refrigerator this morning. I saw that cake there, and I figured something was up. But I didn't want to spoil any surprises. But I had to have my... snooping. No, it was my isogenics was in there. Oh. So my isogenics is in the refrigerator. So anyways. Okay. All right, there we go. Quick cake break. Quick cake break. We're talking about other blanks that you can use for travel series. BP series is a great one to look at. Um, BP 1024, BP 1025. You can look at salmon blanks. Mm -hmm. You know, ISA series. I know guys are taking um, long steelhead blanks and making crappie rods out of them for... 10 and a half foot crappie rod fishing, um, being two piece, easier to travel with, obviously. So any kind of multi piece can use as a travel rod, right? Yeah. So, so the 967X, yes. Right? Yeah. So somebody was asking about a yellow tail rod. Yeah. This is a 967F. SW967 have been around for 20 plus years. I remember this blank from oh, at least 25 years. This SW has been in a series back when we worked in California for another company. Um, this was a blank that they had. We brought, made it into a two-piece. SW series is awesome. It's an eight-foot blank. It is rated 15 to 25. Great build as a casting or a spinning rod. You three-quarter to four ounce. So it's got a lot of power. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put your glasses on. Oh no. And you got a safe word. Safe word I is do. what? Peacock bass today? So peacock. Peacock today. bass. So like I said again, and I will say it again, always check your ferrules. Always check your ferrules when you have a two-piece rod or a multi-piece rod. So we're gonna show you the action of this one. Okay. Uh, Eden, Sarah, you wanna okay. grab that tip? I'm, Go ahead and back up just a little wait, bit. I got cake on my fingers. All right, is that balloon in the way? Well, I'm gonna pop it. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll throw it over there. All right. It so says it's all about me because it's all about So you. this is, somebody asked about a saltwater two-piece rod, something for yellowtail, calicos. This, this would be a great rod for that, Jeff. So I'm going to show you. It's a, okay. it's a pretty quick rod. Yep. Not real quick, though. So it's more of a mod fast, and it's got plenty of power, right? So to turn those fish, it is a graphite, all graphite rod, though. So remember that when you handle it. It yeah. doesn't have any glass in it, but it's got plenty of power, like I said. It's rated 15 to 25. I personally would, wouldn't mind fishing 40 on it, but this is an all around great two piece saltwater travel blank. Yes, Beautiful. Jeff. So we had another uh, gentleman comment on that one, and he also wanted to compare the 966, which I put right over there. So. 966? Oh, okay. Is that the new one for us? Right yes. So yeah. we're comparing that against this one that we have out here, the SW. Okay. So. 967. We do not make the 966 in a two-piece, though. We only make it in a one-piece. Oh, then we have to put it away. It's not a travel rod. We're, we can still talk <laughs> about it. But, you know, as you go down in your last number, the powers go down, mm -hmm. strengths go down, line and lower weights go down. So you'll be able to see this blank compared to the seven. So this is the six. I know they're using this blank for cobia fishing, um, tarpon, pompano. Things Pumpano. like that. Pumpano. Pumpano. Yeah. So okay. you'll be able to see this. And our safe word is peacock. So Eden, I'm just going to show you. This has the same actions. Saltwater action. Saltwater. It's uh, mod fast. It's got good power. So this is the six. And the line and lure ratings obviously are going to be different. And this one is rated no rating. So, it's rated no rating. This is Let's rated no rating. Catalog. I will. Okay. I will. Let's take a look here. So that's the SW 967, 968, 966, 967, and 968. So there's three models in that series that are very popular. Like I said, everything from Cobia to Tarpon, you name it. And this is in a RX-7 graphite. So it would be... 
really close to it. I should have this thing memorized by now, you would think, right? Well, we put out a new one every year. Right. So it's yeah. hard to memorize. By the time we memorize it, it's the end of the year and we have a new one already. Yes, yeah, makes it tough, doesn't yeah. it? Yep. Yeah. Especially with 500 different blanks to choose from. <laughs> Woo! So this one is rated 12 to 20, the 966. Uh, half ounce to three ounce. The blank weight is 4.6 ounce. The 967 is rated 12 to 25. It is three quarter to four ounce. So you, you can see the difference and you'll see, it, you'll see it in the diameter of the blank and in the power of the blank. And this one would weigh 5.5 ounces. So 0.9 ounces more for that much power between yeah. a six and a seven. So I hopefully that answered his question. Beautiful. Okay, are we moving into Q&A or are we going to look at a couple of the other blanks? Um, I'm not sure. Where are we, Jeff? What are we doing? All right, so I we're done with that. I think we're looking at the... We're done with that. Are we done with that? Yeah, we're done with Do this. Do we have an SP781? Oh, you want to look at the SP? Okay, oh, this SP, um, standard... Modulus. St I'm sorry, standard modulus little spinning rod. Yeah, yeah. ultra light. Ultra this light. This one is oh. kind of very consistent, you know, like this is something we are never going to change. It's always going to be yeah. this way. Yeah. It's perfect the way that it is. Yep. So this one is 6'6". Six, six. Good little trout rod. Yeah, it's been around <laughs> um, forever. Forever. This is a forever blank. I mean, um, this one is in RX-6 graphite. has a clear gloss finish. Great little trout rod. You can do anything with this. Trout-wise, it's an ultralight rated 2 to 6 pound test, I believe. Uh, yep, 2 to 6. 1 16th to 1 quarter ounce. 6 foot 6. Very all around good little trout rod. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I've caught plenty of trout on this rod. And you can see it bends through the rod. It's more of a moderate action, so you don't want fast actions on ultralights too much. Yeah, things happen, rods break. <laughs> things happen. You know, so you can see, multi-piece. Yeah. It flexes through the ferrule, everything is good. So that would just be an SP. Is this what you built my first rod on? Yes, yeah, when I highlight, when I do my highlights of the rods that I've built, I will show the rod that I built you when you were a baby. And the first rod I built, Keller. Yeah. And rods that I built my father and things like that. That's, those are the most important ones to me in my collection. Is, um, I don't even get to keep the rod he built me. What do you mean? You can fish it anytime <laughs> you want if you're with me. Right? Um, so I think we're going to wrap it up here. Giveaway. Um, we have a giveaway. What? Oh. Like I, oh. I'm just joking. Okay. So All right. we did post our event. And in our event description, we had people... Comment down below yes. their dream fishing location and yes. who they would take with them. Yes. I'm going to pull it up on my phone here. Okay. Um, we got a bunch of amazing responses, and we are going to pick a winner, and the winner is going to win any travel blank of their choosing. Woo! Um, so it is just going to be a blank. If you're a rod builder, great. If you're not, give us a call. We'll hook you up with some rod builders near you in your area. Yeah, sounds who fair. We can help you build that blank. Yep. Beautiful. So you're going to pick oh, a winner okay. off of the people that gave us stories. Yep. Can I tell a little story while yeah, you do that? Yeah, you tell a little story right. while I'm, while I'm My dream trip out. would be Christmas Island. 1985, my father went to Christmas Island with um, four of his buddies. They spent 10 days fishing GTs off the beach, and they got on a boat and did a little more fishing on the boat. Um, but they have, um, it was an 8 millimeter film of it. They filmed the whole thing. Well, most of it, probably not all of it. Um, they had a great time. They caught tons of fish. Uh, I've got a video of my dad catching an 80 pound GT off the beach, which I have a replica of um, in my office. So I wanna go to Christmas Island with four of my close friends. I wanna take some of my dad's old gear. I wanna go fish those fishing spots where my dad fished and catch a GT like my father did. Um, that would be the ultimate trip for me. That's wonderful. I'm going to read a couple of these off. Yeah. Um, these aren't necessarily the winners. We're just going to read a couple of the stories. Okay. Um, Stephen Davis said Alaska to fish for giant rainbow trout. Oh, yeah. Um, we have Costa Rica for rooster, ro roosters. Yep. Um, let's see. If my bucket list fishing destination would have to be Hawaii for some monster marlin. Oh, yeah. Kona. Yeah, Kona. And then oh, I'm trying to find the one where someone said they'd want to go to Hawaii with us. Oh, yeah? Because we're fun. Yeah, apparently. we are fun. We are fun. Okay. 
Um, so I'm going to do a randomized little picking thing here, and then I'm going to let you know who the winner of any travel blank from the range. Any blank. travel blank. Yep, any That's travel blank. That's over, not ca counting fly rods, you're looking at about 150 models to choose from. That's beautiful. That's okay. nice. That's fair. So the winner of this giveaway is Drew Stucklick. Stucklick? Drew Stucklick. Drew Stucklick? Sounds fine to me. I think that sounds how you say the last name. Um, Drew, if you're watching this, you are the winner. Uh, send us a message on Facebook. Tell us which blank you want. If you need some advice on which one to choose from, we'd be happy to help. Um, yeah. Drew Stucklick. Drew Stucklick. Excellent. Stucklick. Um, everybody, I just want to reiterate, we do this for you. We do this for the industry. Mm -hmm. um, I want to be able to answer questions. I want to show people the bats and passion and the bats and product line. We want you to feel comfortable because um, we want to help you enjoy your fishing experience, enjoy your rod building experience, enjoy life in general. And if we can do that in any way by doing this show, that's what it's about. 100%. Do we have any other last final questions? Just that you got like a zillion happy birthdays. Okay. Happy birthday, Bill Batson. Excellent. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you. Thank you very much. I made it around the sun, as my daughter says one more time. Um, this is a special birthday for me and my family. Um, for a lot of different reasons and I look forward to being around for a lot more years and sharing my passion and my love of this industry and fishing with you all wonderful yep so I think that's it aloha everybody aloha. see you next week fish on fish on I'm gonna do my little song and dance here. oh you are you got I a song and dance my little song and dance okay we have, um, a YouTube channel where we post all of these oh, videos yeah. Um, after we do our live, we also have the builder feature on there. So we are going to be doing one on the Bats and Family, Itala Busi. Um, and we yep. have a lot of other wonderful stuff going on over there. So if you're on YouTube, go to Bats and Enterprises. Yep. We have our Instagram, Team Rain Shadow. I'm posting on there almost every day. We've got yep. a lot of nice builds on there. Yep. We post our giveaways and all of our stuff on there yep. as well. And then we have Facebook, Bats and Enterprises, which you are on right now. If you turn on notifications on YouTube and on Facebook, you will be able to see um, everything we post and it'll let you know when we're on, which would be yep. fun for you guys and for us. Yep. So hopefully we see you back next week and thank you so much for watching. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you, everybody. Fish on. Aloha. <laughs>